Okay, I'm about to spill the tea on what it was like on the inside of a mastermind get up. Get up, get together, get up, giddy up. There was a group of five entrepreneurs and we all sat around a room and we were talking about what was working in our business, rooms, room for improvement, and the best things that we have been able to do in 2023 and moving into 2024. We talked about everything across the board and not everything was about a win and not everything was fun and gold and fancy. Some things were hard and some things were gut-wrenching. And sometimes we just sat around and we held space for people to talk about what they felt was some of the biggest mistakes of their career. And so we shared what our businesses look like from the inside out. And here's the thing, there was like a code, a respect, right? So I'm not gonna share anything specific, but I was taking notes around the things that people were talking about. And what I wanna share today are three specific things that every entrepreneur in that room was doing that got them from where they were to where they are today. And they are continuing to do them. These are people who started off with just an idea and now have like a company doing tens of millions of dollars. These are people who have venture capital. These are people who have loans. These are people who are bootstrapped. There's so many different types, mom and pop to like Wall Street, right? All these different types of entrepreneurs. And there are three things that everybody in that room did. Number one, they ask for help. I don't know about you, but I have for the longest time, I didn't know how to ask for help. Sometimes I didn't even know what to ask for. I knew I needed help, but I didn't know what to ask for. And if you don't know what to ask for, there's no way that somebody can find a way to help you. So if you feel stuck or you don't know what to do, ask yourself, if I could ask somebody for something, just don't put any limits on it. If I could ask somebody for something, what kind of help would I ask for? And even if you don't have the right words, I, there were plenty of times where I would reach out to an entrepreneur friend, or I would reach out to my husband, who's my business partner. And I'm like, I need to practice you asking for help. Does that sound lame? Probably, but it's just my truth. I actually don't know and didn't know how to find the right words. So number one, asking for help, even if you have to practice it. Number two, the second thing that everybody in this room did is they showed up even when it was hard. They showed up when they did like a third of their team had layoffs. They showed up when their ad spend went way over budget. They went, um, they continued pushing on when their tech roadmap went off the rails and they're so behind and they're not sure that they could pay payroll. They continued showing up and they still said, well, that's the goal. And so if we stop here, there's no way we're re reaching the goal. The game of business is while we might slow down, we're not stopping. And it was so powerful to hear that when people, when your back is against the ropes, when you're laying on, in the gutter and you're like, uh, this is it, I, I think I'm done. And then you decide, no, actually not is the day that I quit. That, that's not even proper grammar. What am I like Yoda? Not is the day I shall not quit. I mean, anyway, listen, if I don't quit today, then tomorrow I have another chance of hitting it. But if I decide that today is my day and I'm done, I will. it's a guarantee I will never hit my goal. And then the third thing that all of these entrepreneurs did was they took small actions every day. You know, it's like um, sometimes um, a lot of the people in the room, there were a lot of guys and they did like um, semi-glutides, training for marathons, um, if, testing their testosterone, right? They're thinking about all of these big lifestyle changes, but it mapped to their small daily decisions. What kind of food were they eating or not drinking alcohol? When it comes to their business aspirations, they have these big business aspirations of selling for hundreds of millions of dollars. But in that moment, it didn't stop them from picking up the phone and calling their head of customer success to say, oh, we need to change our sales strategy. And so it is this small daily action. So what is your small daily action? Like these people were doing so much bigger and grander businesses than I ever was. But when I saw that all of these people did the same three things again and again, it radically changed the way that I was showing up in my business. So that's the question that I have for you. What small thing are you going to do in your business? What action are you going to take? What commitment are you going to take for you to actually get to where you want to go? Because if these people were much further along in business than I am, for sure, and they have so much of a history of business experience behind them, way more, they have more of a business history than I, longer than I have been in business. So why would I not look at the three things that they were doing? To review, ask for help, even if I had to practice it. Number two, showing up when it's hard. And number three, small actions.
And so I'm coming here having a real question around the small action you're going to take. And sometimes we hear it and we're like, oh, well, I'm just going to post on social media. I'm really going to post my YouTube video today. Fine, fine. But it takes different forms. It's doing the thing that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. In fact, just this morning, I had a conversation. I'm hosting a free revenue boot camp right now. And it's a pop-up community. We're only doing it for a short, finite amount of time. And it's free. Jasminestar.com forward slash bootcamp. Come and join us. And so inside of this group, I went in and I did a video. And I said, hey, the reason you're a part of this community is because we're going to go through four live sessions talking about how you're going to double your revenue with a very specific plan. And whenever I talk to people about this, everyone gets hyped. Everyone's like, eh, we're ready for this. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to double my revenue. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Okay. But I said, from my experience, having watched over 40,000 entrepreneurs go through the business offerings that I have created over the years, two things stop people. Number one, perfection. And number two, projection, Right. Oh, I, you know what? Once I learn everything that I'm learning, I'm, I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to get the perfect offer, the perfect product, the perfect service, the projection. Well, I'm going to predict, I'm going to project what it should be and how it should be. And I should be getting these numbers by this date. And then if it doesn't happen, you're like, it's me. Something's wrong with me. No, you're not the problem. It's not you. Sometimes we have a very hard time properly allocating a perfect amount of time for a product that needs a longer gestation period. I feel like I need to say that again. Because what happens is from thin air, we say, this is a great product. I'm going to put it out. I should make this much money in this amount of time. And then everything's going to be off to candy land. I go, no, it never works like that. And so for those people who were in the boot camp, jasminestar.com forward slash boot camp, let's go. For those people who are there, and we haven't started yet. So please join us, like come in and do this with us. I said, the things that are going to stop you, I'm going to predict your future. Perfection and prediction. So. What decision are you going to make today? What one small action based on what I learned from this mastermind? And I'm like, oh, these people struggle in the same way that any business owner struggles, period. But what sets them apart? They ask for help. They say they take small actions every day and then they show up even when it's hard. So this is my invitation to you to show up even when it's hard. And the best part is in this pop-up group, we get to do it together. Okay, so let's get into a couple of the live questions that were asked. It's hard taking small action when I feel like I don't yield results. Any advice for when it doesn't feel like you're doing enough or seeing an impact? So, um, okay. The, the first time I ever saw Venus and Serena Williams play, I thought to myself, what they're doing is magical. When she was signing her first Nike contract as a female, as a black female in the tennis world for tens of millions of dollars. I thought to myself, that's so inspiring. That's amazing. But my faulty logic was, well, now I want to go play tennis. I feel inspired. I'm inspired to play tennis. I'm not even lying. I bought a racket, started playing at like our community park. Cause I was, I was just, I got my shoes, I got my skirt. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then I realized, oh man, this is, it's hard. It's taking a long time. And like for years that I played, I was like, I'm terrible. I'm really bad. And so what happens is that in our minds, when we say, oh, we're not yielding results. Well, that's because in our mind, we said there's a, that our success should happen in a certain time frame. But Venus and Serena played for 14, 15, 16 years before they got into a circuit, before they got attention, before that contract showed up from Nike. They were playing on the rainy days. They were playing on the cold days. They were playing at night. They were playing on subpar courts. They were they didn't have access to the things that the other had, the other people had. And guess what? They still made it. But what we see is the Venus and Serena holding Wimbledon Cup above their head. We see them holding the silver plate from the U.S. Open above their head. But what we don't see is the 16 years that it took for them to get there. When we are watching somebody in the business world do something that we so desperately want to do, what we don't know and what we don't see are the pain, the trials, and year after year after year and pivot after pivot after pivot that somebody made to get to where they are. So what we want is, I like that outcome, but what we don't see is how many years did it take for you to get there? So how do you keep showing up when you're not getting the results that you want? let go of the timeline. I know I get a little bit, some people are going to say, Jasmine, you're just too woo woo for me. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. You can call it whatever you want. 
I have been raised to believe, and I feel in my gut, that I would not have a dream for the thing I want to build if God didn't have it in me. Like, I can't dream. Like, whatever your dream is, whatever business you want to build right now, I don't think you have the dream for that business for no reason. Like, you have the idea for your business and the desire for your business because deep down, you believe you're capable of doing it. Like, I didn't wake up this morning thinking I'm going to, like, play for the PGA. Like, I don't think I'm going to be a golf star. I don't think I'm going to be, actually, I don't think I'm going to be any athletic star. Like, I got an iron lung and I'm completely uncoordinated. So I don't get dreams or aspirations of being a professional athlete. Why? It's not in me. But do I have dreams of being a standout Latina entrepreneur doing hundreds of millions of dollars in business? I do. And if you were to look at my current state, you'd be like, girl, you far, you far from that. I am. But I don't have a timeline. I don't say, oh, I should get that when I'm 40 or 50 or 60 or 70. It's just, do I think I'm going to do that? Do I think I'm going to sell businesses? Do I think I'm going to sit on boards? Do I think I'm going to be an investor? Do I think I'm going to be a coach? Do you think that I'm going to have a multi-latitude straight whole system of these tools that I use, that I endorse, that I build, that I co-create, that I develop, that I fund? I do. But if you were to look at my business right now, you'd be like, that's funny. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show up every day, small, consistent actions. I'm going to ask for help and I'm just not going to stop. And so if you want to dig deeper with us and find ways that this becomes your reality too, even if on the outside, it looks a little bit crazy, join us. It's free. It's a boot camp. Jasminestar.com forward slash a boot camp. I will see you there. Sign up for your seat. We're doing them live. It's going to be a game changer. All right, y'all. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.